Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video we're going to be shining the spotlight on the Glacioclasm Legendary Fusion Rifle and hopefully by the end of the video you'll be convinced that this is the best non-sunset legendary fusion rifle in the game right now. Because here's the deal, this gun is it's better than Aaron Till statistically and the, ba the base stats, they free you up to look for other great perk options on the gun other than just looking for perks that will boost those base stats like stability and recoil direction like you needed to do with the Aaron Till back in the day, right? First, let's establish where the gun comes from and how to get it. Glacioclasm is unique to the dawning event in Destiny 2. So you can only get it during the event, which you're running out of time. Basically, you need to bake cookies in the oven that Ava Levante gives you, deliver those cookies, and eventually you'll receive a gift package in return from an NPC. Open it, cross your fingers, and hopefully you get this gun. Now cross your toes and hope that the roll is good, right? Uh, if, it's, if it's not what you were after, then get back to the grind, bake those cookies. With a little time and farming, you'll have, you know, somewhere around half a dozen of these drop in a single gaming session, uh, hopefully, if your RNG's okay. And I sure hope that you get the roll that you're after. I still don't have the exact one that I want, but I've got a pretty dang good roll that I've acquired uh, about 350 kills in PvP with so far. And that's the role that you're seeing in this video. It's Killing Wind and Auto Loading Holster. You'll notice a lot of times I'll voop till my mag is dry, then I'll switch to the sidearm for a kill, and then I'll swap right back to the Glacioclasm because of Auto Loading Holster. It's reloaded and ready to go for me. My role also has Particle Repeater, which is, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's the number one best battery option for fusion rifles okay some people will tell you liquid coils but i'm not about that life it slows my pacing down just it just slows it down too much and you'll see in the video i i play devour with fusions so i can just hold forward and chain kills over and over uh, this video is just gameplay from one short gaming session and it, it it includes a few we rans a 50 kill game 46 kill game a couple of ghosts in the night and more right i don't mess around when it comes to vooping i used to do it a lot and uh, i haven't been using fusion rifles much at all for the last few seasons but um it was fun to throw a nasty fusion on again and start eating my grenades and steamrolling a little bit and uh, if you remember some of my earlier voop videos that's how i used to play it was was with uh, devour so that i could just play mega aggressive with fusion rifles not passive and reactionary but forcing the opponents to react to me instead uh, my role also has that stability masterwork which is super nice to have if you didn't know stability is the most important stat value on a fusion rifle it dictates how far away from you you're going to be able to manage that tight spread on those projectiles a common misconception since destiny one is that range is the most important stat on a fusion and that's just it's just incorrect range caps on these things just remember when it comes to fusions range caps but stability slaps all right there you go there's your little rhyme to remember range caps but stability slaps so you can see several times in this video how i'm able to capitalize on that killing wind perk as well with Devour active, I don't have to worry about breaking up my engagements to recover my health and simultaneously, you know, losing the benefits of Killing Wind. But with Devour, I'm able to just continue pushing, pushing, pushing and losing no time on the clock when it comes to maximizing my time with Killing Wind. See, uh, my Glacioclasm has no perks that passively increase the performance of the gun. No tap the trigger, no threat detector, no firmly planted. None of those perks that you really needed in order to make those Amalon fusions and uh, even some of the other ones like uh, the Exile's Curse and um, the, uh, the the Iron Banner one as well, uh, you, you needed those perks to turn them into monsters. But uh, Glacioclasm doesn't need those because it has absolutely insane base stats. 70 range, right? Mine has a stability value of 60 and a recoil direction of 93, which is almost perfectly vertical, while Aaron Till had to combat that recoil direction of 60 for comparison's sake, right? This thing is a killing machine. So the question is, what are the ideal roles on Glacioclasm? Well, here's the good news. This gun has some monster perks available to it, right? In the first column, four out of six potential perks are really good choices. So you've got a uh, slide shot, which reloads the gun as you slide and boost range and stability. Great for running and gunning, right? If you're running and gunning, slide shot on this thing is a phenomenal choice. 
It's why slide shots are a really popular perk to have on uh, shotguns as well. So you also have under pressure, which boosts stability and accuracy when you have three or less shots in the mag, which uh, is why under pressure has been a highly sought after perk for fusion rifles for a long time. Uh, you have surplus, which I've talked about in previous videos. It's a god tier perk. It really is, especially for fusion rifles. It's a god tier perk. Giving, you know, you're getting three uh, stat boosts for the price of one perk. You know, you got the handling, stability, and reload speed all for one perk. It's, it's a phenomenal choice. Phenomenal choice. So that is uh, my ideal role would include surplus. That's the one I don't quite have yet. Um, and I'll talk about the second perk that I'm after in a hot second. But um, yeah, so... You also have Killing Wind, which is what you're seeing in this video, is my Killing Wind roll. It's godly for run and gun builds like Devour, but uh, it can be hard to capitalize on Killing Wind with slower paced playstyles, I will say. Uh, bottom line is that the first column, your choices of having a, a great perk are really, really good. Um, I'm sorry, your chances of having a great perk are really, really good. The other two are Ambitious Assassin and Field Prep. Uh, field Prep, they suck. They do, they suck. Throw it away if you get one of those. In the second column, you have high impact reserves, which is the best uh, the best bet, I think. High impact is gonna give you a four bolt kill instead of a five bolt kill, and that matters. Trust me, it matters. This gameplay does, does not have high impact reserves, but every now and then a streak does get cut short because you only landed four bolts for one reason or another, right? Maybe the other player was dodge rolling, Icarus dashing or flying around like Goku with the new um, Behemoth Titan melee ability, right? High impact uh, f helps forgive that. It does. It gives a little forgiveness there. Otherwise, you have some nice options like Demolitionist in this uh, in this column as well for getting some grenade energy back on kills, which is always nice. Swashbuckler, which would be helpful for chaining kills. Great perk. Auto loading holster, which is a nice perk. You, you see it in uh, action here. Help you reload the gun without breaking combat. But uh, ultimately, I think high impact reserves is the way to go here. Uh, it's been a while since fusion rifle enthusiasts have had a great legendary option to chase. You know, the Alatha is there and not Sunset, depending on when you got yours. It can do some work. But uh, other than that, you're looking at some much lesser weapons. Glaciaclasm puts all the legendary options this season to shame. And uh, if I'm being honest, it's really not even that close. I would highly recommend everyone take the time to get at least a decent roll on this thing. Put in the time, make it happen, y'all. Uh, I think there's a reason why, I don't know if you guys have noticed this as well, but this season when I run into fusion riflers, it's almost always uh, exotic fusion rifles. It's almost always Telesto or, uh, or even Jotun. I'm seeing some more Jotun this season than I have in previous seasons. That's because the legendary options right now uh, due to sun setting are really not that great. You're pretty limited. So if you didn't get a god roll on you know, a very specific gun, you, you might be leaning pretty hard on your exotic fusion rifles right now. This is a great, great fusion rifle to add to the uh, pool for fusion rifle enthusiasts. I think you're going to start seeing a lot more of it, frankly, because people are not going to sleep on it. So thanks so much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed the gameplay and the discussion about the weapon. And I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Uh, please stay safe out there as you usher in the new year. Be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the crucible.